Ugh. Okay. Now to claim these chests, Fenrir. All right, two more turns, and then if I can take down Reeve, I will. All right, let's light this sucker up. Ah, perfect, I can actually see what I'm doing now. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I need to be careful here. Silver axe, silver bow. These guys have swords. Well, one of them has a sword. Okay, well... Ross can take care of that guy. Garrick, I have no problems taking down the sniper. Let's see, he has a defense of 15, and he would have the hand axe. So... That would be 10. And 21, 22. Eh, he'd be fine. Let's have Marissa. Uh, I guess Shamshir seems a little bit of a waste. We'll go with the Armor Slayer. Gets the job done and doesn't use up Shamshir. Okay, not bad. Alright, then Ross can go over here and hand axe this guy. Very nice. And then Garrick. Ooh. That would work even better. Alright, perfect. I've now got the northeast corner taken care of. Now I just need Garrick! Okay, Joshua, you can start making your way over here. Okay, La Rochelle. Torch up here, so that way I can see what enemies lie over there. And where exactly Reeve is. Okay. I've got a Mage Knight, I've got a Warrior, a Ranger, and a Paladin. And Reeve is right here. Thankfully, Ephraim does have that, so he should be fine. And Tana... Yeah, we'll go with the Iron Lance. Tana has some very good defensive stats and a crap ton of HP. She should be fine. And she leveled up, so even more boost to her stats! Excellent! Boost to all of them and speed! Okay, Ephraim, Elixir. Okay, well, I'm not gonna get that elixir back, unfortunately. Um... So that sucks. Uh, let's see... How do I... Well, this will work. Stab you in the face! Thankfully, I don't need Seth to be near Erica. Because with that boost to luck, she should be fine. Uh, I can move Dwessel over here. Erica. Yeah, well, hold up. I think that would work better. Uh, what is Dwessel? Oh, he has a Silver Lance equipped. Perfect. So yeah, we'll go with that then. That way, this guy doesn't have a chance to use his lance on Erica. I don't use up my rapier on things that aren't affected by it. And we'd be good to go. Okay, um... It is. you do have a vulnerary. I can try to make Innis act as bait. So we'll use the steel bow and use up a vulnerary. 
Uh, Natasha, you have a physics staff. Uh, Tana doesn't really need it, Dwessel doesn't really need it, and no one else could use healing in the immediate vicinity. Okay. Franz, you also head down here. Um... We'll move Cormig down here as well. I think Murr would be fine just holding that position. Then Natasha can try to provide some backup in case anyone needs healing. Okay. I think this section is taken care of. I can bring my other units forward so that way they can gain some extra experience and it doesn't all just go to Garrick. But I think for the most part, I'm good. Okay, we're not out of the woods just yet, but we are winding down. We're attacking Tana. Ugh. Uh, actually, t getting off Vidnir might have been a bad idea because that gave her five defense. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. Ah, attacking Erica. I guess it makes sense because he can't exactly do anything to Murr. Which is fine by me, because Erica needs the experience a lot more than Murr can. So I am perfectly content with that. And Erica can just one-shot them anyway. So it all works out. Heck, Erica could just handle that by herself. Alright. Taking you down with my trusty Reagan Leaf! Yeah! Okay, we're almost there. Missed with the L fire tome, and that just leaves the ranger who is attacking Ephraim. Now, unfortunately, I can't really do much with that section down there because that's where Reeve is. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I saw quite a few. Oh, shoot. Enemies up there are gone. All right, uh, let's take this one. A rune sword, ooh. Seen this before, that has Nosferatu on it. All right, one more chest and then we would be good to try to take down Reeve. Uh, I should probably move Joshua the hell out of there. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? Move La Rochelle down here. She has one use of the torch staff, but I don't think it's necessary for her. Uh, how do I best want to do this? Uh, well... Have in his attack the ranger. That would hurt, but I also have Natasha right there. So I think we'll be good. Perfect. He missed anyway. Okay, so that just means. Uh, do I want Ephraim there or do I want Tana there? Who has better defenses? 15, 17. Ephraim naturally does, but with Vivnir, Tana would absolutely be able to crush anything. Unfortunately, it also involves using up Vivnir, so... I think we're good. Alright, I'm pretty sure Aura is... That's only a 1-2 range. Yeah, just like any other tome. Uh, Tana, you can equip the javelin in case anyone's foolhardy enough to attack you. Erica, you stay here. Um, hmm. 
La Rochelle move up. Natasha can also move up. I can move Seth down here. Uh, characters up here. Well... Garrick back, we'll move Ross forward, we'll have Soleil heal up Garrick, not Torch, heal. That way Soleil might be able to use better, t well, I'm not sure he would really need the other staffs, because I think Natasha has that handled. Alright, just keep those four up there. It seemed like there were a number of units that showed up here. Okay, and thankfully, Ephraim acts as a perfect choke point. Perfect, okay. Uh, in which case, I'll move Mur up, and I think we're good to go! Oh, generals showed up! Oh, I am... I am so glad I moved Joshua out of the way. Okay. Well, actually, I'm wondering if I'll still be able to get that bonus because that one knight survived. There's that other knight right there, so unless another unit comes up to attack me, or not really attack me, but attack the green knight. Thank you, Ephraim. I might still get the bonus item. I still might get that light brand. Okay. Fortunately, these guys are gonna block the way. That's gonna make things a little bit more complicated. Hmm. Yeah, that overly complicates things because I was hoping to use Ephraim to take down Reeve. You fool! Alright, so much for that bonus. Uh, <laughs> wait, what? How in the hell? How in the hell? How in the freaking hell did you not get killed? I... I don't know. But he didn't. So I am perfectly okay with that. Okay, well... If we can take down Reeve this turn, then we should be good. And I think I've got a few options to do so. So, let's have Tana get rid of this guy. Thank you, Tana! Okay, so I can either use Ephraim or I could use Myrrh. I'm pretty sure if I use La Rochelle. Um. Hmm. Well, that would hurt. But even if he did somehow crit La Rochelle, that would only deal 21. So that actually wouldn't be terrible. That would also hurt. But wouldn't be terrible. And thankfully, Murr could just one shot him because, you know, she's Murr. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much running out of this long, this long bow. Though, I could have Franz go down here. That would also hurt. That would still hurt. That is a lot more accurate. We'll go with that. Just so that way Franz gets some experience out of all this. Like, it's, it's amazing just how many ex how much experience I got for certain characters. Okay, I think I will send La Rochelle down here. Oh, she could actually double with that. Also be slightly less accurate. But yeah, 7, 14, 21. La Rochelle will be fine, so we'll go with that. <laughs> One sacred stone remains. Once it is destroyed, 
Darkness will consume the world! What will you do? Will you cower in fear? <laughs> Weird, that's just his generic one. I thought for sure he had one for... Hmm. That's odd. I would have thought for sure that he would have... Whatever. Not like it matters. We'll send Ephraim over with... One of these lances. Um... I don't see a reason why not to use Sigmund. Aside from the fact that I can... Actually, no, I can take him down with the other lances. Needog would do a pretty decent job. And also, that luck actually comes in handy. Huh, how about that? Uh, let's see. Innis is level 7. Ephraim's level 9. And then there's Cormac, which would be an absolute terrible idea. Um, couldn't do anything and likely get herself killed. Uh, let's see. We'll use the Killer Lance, and if that doesn't finish him off, then I can just use Innis to do so. Right. That hurt. Not quite. All right then. Well, it is your time to shine. Finish him off. <laughs> no, no! It's been so long. He got carried away. I best stop and withdraw for now. Follow me. Come to Darkling Woods. The Demon King awaits your pleasure. Thus, we have defeated the Dark Bishop Reeve. And for our troubles, we get an Aura Tome. Behold! Victory is ours! Yes, we did it! Somehow, I wonder if everyone else is okay. Erica, did you find your answer? Yes. Thank you, La Rochelle. Your words guided me. My words? <laughs> it was nothing. Come, we should find the sacred stone. If anything were to happen to it... La Rochelle, your face is so flushed. Is anything amiss? No, it's nothing. Nothing at all. I'm holding it in my very hand. The Stone of Rostin. Its glorious radiance suits my complexion, wouldn't you say? This is it. The last one. The last remaining sacred stone. It is. And the time to defeat the Demon King draws near. We should be leaving. We have to act before those creatures gain more momentum. Yes, we should make haste. The poison spreads. It is growing ever stronger. Where? Darkling Woods. Where the Demon King fell. La Rochelle, must you leave so soon? You've only just returned, and you have to leave? Uncle, defeating evil is the highest calling I can perform. Of course, my dear. It is a divine calling, but... You needn't worry, Uncle. After all, I'm not on my own. I have my friends. I see. You've been blessed, La Rochelle. Blessed with many good friends. I am indeed, Uncle. And they, in turn, are blessed with me! Farewell, Uncle. I shall return. Once evil has been vanquished, we'll all return safe and sound. Hold on. Not so fast now. I have something I wish to present to Princess Erica. To me, Your Holiness? Yes, Princess. I'd like you to accept this gift. What is it? <gasps> oh! Aren't those... Aren't those the sacred twins of Rostin? That's right, dear niece. These are the weapons of Saint Latonia, 
most holy father of Rostin. Here we have the glorious Ivaldi and its twin, the divine staff of Latonia. I will also spare some funding to feed and arm your forces. After all, there is much that you must do before you leave these halls. And thus we get the final sacred twin relics. The Light Tome Evaldi. Pretty accurate, does give a slight crit chance, very powerful, and grants defense plus five. Again, kind of an odd one, but would be nice to go up against archers, or, you know, dark creatures. Well, I guess bone walkers and whatnot. And Latonia. Restores all HP as well as allies' status. So, kind of the fortify staff that we got, but also mixed with the restore staff. If I had to use Shin Megami Tensei terms, it would be like a prayer spell. <laughs> Very many uses though. And also doesn't range total. Oh my gosh, this works for the entire map. That is Oh, that is a lot better than I was expecting. That is a lot that's a lot better. And 10,000 gold. So they are the Blessed Latonia's most sacred relics. Is this allowed? I know the law, La Rochelle. The relics must never leave the temple, with the sole exception of the occasional ascension ceremony. But I think that, when the world needs saving, we can make the odd exception. <laughs> That's my uncle! You will return them, of course, once you've finished your task. Princess Erica, I would have your oath on this. Of course, you have my word. We shall return safely, and we shall restore your relics. Darkling Woods is home to naught but demons now. Indeed, I hear tell that none who enter its borders ever leave again. We ought to stock up on supplies in town before we set out. Yes, we must be as prepared as possible before we set out. I don't want to take any reckless chances with our lives. Princess La Rochelle! My beloved countrymen! The combat was fierce, but you protected the palace honorably. The valorous Knights of Rostin shall live on in story and song! Thank you, my lady. As always, it is our honor to serve. Princess Erica, before you leave, please take the sword. We pray for your swift and safe return. I appreciate your gift. I swear I will not allow your valor to be wasted. As long as the righteousness of justice fills our hearts, how can we lose? Men, I ask that you watch after my dear uncle. You have my word, my lady. In the twin names of justice and valor. And there we go. We get the Light Brand Sword as a reward for keeping over half of the knights alive. I am seriously surprised we managed to get this. But we did it. Hooray! And with the last sacred stone in existence in our hand, we head off to Darkling Woods. We are nearing our point of no return. As the characters put it, we should stock up on supplies while we can, because once we begin the next chapter, there's no going back. So, next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones... We'll stock up on supplies, we'll make sure we're as prepared as possible, and then we head to Darkling Woods, where the body of the Demon King rests, and where the Demon King is right now trying to reclaim. With Sacred Stone in hand, hopefully we'll be able to defeat him. So until next time, everyone, take care. Ephraim, cheer up! What are you talking about, Tana? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm always like this. That's not true! I've never seen you look so sad as you do right now! If you're depressed, 
I'm sure my brother would worry. And I... Well, I... <laughs> Tana. You're the Princess of Frelia. Perhaps it's... Unwise of you to be so friendly to Erica and me. After all, alliances aside, our two countries' needs may differ. Who knows what the future holds? Those ties could snap in an instant. No! Don't say that! And why not? You and Erica are both my friends! We come from different countries, it's true, but... But... No matter what happens, the friendship I feel for you will never change! I'm sorry, Tana. I wasn't thinking straight. Please, don't cry. Ephraim! You're right, though. No matter what happens, the bond between us will never disappear. It's because Leon is my friend that I have to put an end to this. Anna. Prince Ephraim, we'll take care of this. Please. Brother. I'm sorry. I've been useless and worse lately. I'm over it now. I'm ready to fight. Let's go! Take out the enemy and protect Pontifex Mansell! Leon is my friend. No matter what has happened, that one fact will not change. I know this. I will not falter in my resolve. Leon, because I'm your friend, I will strike you down. Hey, Mur. When this war is over, what will you do? Have you thought about where you will go? I've lived in Darkling Woods ever since I was a child. I think that I shall spend the rest of my life there. On your own? Do you have anyone waiting for you in the forest? I... I am on my own now. But you need not worry. I'm a dragon, after all. I've been thinking, Mur. If you would like, you can live with us in Rene. What? When this war is over, when we restore peace to Magvel, Erica and I will be going back to Rene to lead our people. Would you like to live in the castle? With us? Uh, but... I would not want to inconvenience you. It's nothing you need to worry about. Castle Rene is a vast place. I'm sure we could spare a room for a small girl like you. And besides, you are my sister, right? Family should stay together, don't you think? <gasps> but... You must not forget that I am a dragon. I must think about it. I would love to, but... Perhaps I shouldn't, and so, I must think about it. As you wish. But, thank you for the offer. It makes me very happy. Thank you, brother. <sighs> that takes care of that. Ephraim! Oh, I'm glad to see that your spirits are up! Ah, uh, Tana. And I have you to thank for that. Nothing. As long as you're back to your old self, that is thanks enough. 